Hi, I'm Chris Butcher, and today I'm going to give you a quick intro to the concept of least privilege. It's a principle that can be applied to almost every aspect of IT, and it's very simple. Give someone or something the least amount of privilege they need to be able to do their job. Anything more than this creates unnecessary risk. It usually boils down to the question, do we really need to make this person an admin? Let's think of a real world analogy. I'm in charge of an office. We have some contractors coming in to do some work on the windows in the foyer. They'll be working out of hours, so we need to make sure they can get in without me. Now, what am I going to give them? The key to the foyer, or this big bunch of keys that lets you get into every room in the building? The principle of least privilege dictates that I should only give them that single key. That's all they need. Now, as odd as it may sound, in the IT world, a lot of people are giving out that whole bunch, just because it's easier. Why is it that people do this? Well, one problem is a lack of granularity. If we take Windows endpoints as an example, permissions can be very binary. Every key is a master key, as it were, or, as it's October, should I say, a skeleton key. This can make it very challenging to implement least privilege. So if Windows doesn't offer us the granularity that we need, what can we do? Well, one option is to have someone else be the gatekeeper of admin privileges. If we continue with our analogy, a security guard lets the contractors in to where they need to go. In reality, if we're still thinking about endpoint privileges, this is likely to be your service desk team. So when someone has a task they need to carry out which requires admin rights, they call on the service desk team to do it for them. This presents two challenges, a large workload increase for your service desk team and the proliferation of admin accounts that are cached in memory across your devices. How can we get around this problem? With PAM, Privilege Access Management. We get some thing to hold the keys as opposed to someone. PAM solutions allow us to configure policy with exactly the granularity we need to say when someone or something should be able to perform tasks which require elevation. They can do this not only for local privileges on endpoints, but also allow you to control and record access to devices on your network, whether they be servers, network devices, databases, web platforms, or accounts running services. By implementing a PAM solution, you can move towards a position of true least privilege and dramatically reduce risk for your organisation. Not only that, but you will be able to record and monitor actions that are being taken and reduce the workload on your service desk teams. Take a look at what Ignition can offer you in terms of PAM and feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks very much.